Welcome folks. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how I use the Magic Plan app to record existing conditions uh, and create a floor plan for bathrooms in the villas that I stayed in while I was on vacation in Pismo Beach, California. And what you'll see in the video is uh, the actual scanning. It took me about five minutes to scan two bathrooms and then the recording of the uh, um, scan. So I have that. And then also um, some pictures that I took. And, and it, the, um, the interesting thing about this is the bathrooms were rather upscale for a vacation rental. So it was uh, a good opportunity to look at how uh, showers are tiled. Um, this, these ones in particular had uh, four different types of tile in each of the showers. And then the use of the space, uh, one bathroom was on the first floor was uh, uh, somewhat like a master bathroom, but it, it because it served the master bedroom, except for it was separate. And then it was also had a dual use for the general use bathroom for everybody when they were visiting. So anybody on the first floor could use that restroom. Um, and then also the master bedroom that was there on the first floor. And then uh, on the second floor, uh, we had a small bathroom. It was uh, about 45 square feet, and it had. I mean, it was very efficiently laid out. It had a, a corner shower in it and uh, a low ceiling, so the ceiling was kind of low, and it, and it was up against the slope of the roof on the second floor. So part of the ceiling even sloped down a little bit, and so it was probably the smallest bathroom with a shower that I've seen that was actually pretty comfortable to, to use. So I'm gonna show you that. And then the townhouse was built in 2008. And so uh, I would go over a little bit about the existing conditions of the bathrooms and how well they've stood up and uh, uh, explain a couple of things, the details that stood out that didn't um, present very well as, you know, for the look. But so I go over that a little bit too. So anyways, if you enjoy the, uh, the video, please hit the like button. And if you didn't enjoy it, uh, please consider subscribing because maybe you'll enjoy the next video. So uh, without wasting any more time, let's get moving on to the scan and then uh, we'll talk about the bathroom. Okay, this is the uh, first floor bathroom. So uh, it had a vanity, a toilet, and a shower. The vanity was pretty good size in this one, but that, the bathroom was pretty good size too, 75 square feet. And uh, the shower has uh, four different types of tile in it. Um, it was nicely decorated. The, the walls kind of jog around a little bit to make it seem a little inefficient. Uh, the bench was particularly nice. And here's the uh, Magic Plan um, scan that I did. If you know, the time was uh, 9.01 when I started and uh, for the first scan. So I went around and I'm just doing the auto scan on this. And this is just showing it going up to the wall. And uh, it says on the uh, thing to take it back down to the bottom, it gives you the uh, some directions while you're scanning. Sometimes those are hard to look at when you're trying to focus on what's going on outside of the app. But it um, works pretty well. I had a little bit of trouble with the glass. Uh, sometimes it would catch it and sometimes it would want to go in the background. I'd have to focus a little bit on the wall. I came around. I couldn't get the window through the glass and I couldn't get that bench to show up for some reason. I tried a couple different ways, but the bench would not uh, materialize. Uh, but if you look at the lines, you can see that the, um, the app is uh, working pretty well. Uh, scanning, scanning. I actually think that the auto scan works better than the manual scan. Uh, personally, that's what I feel. I've done better with the auto scan, but here I'm going around a second time just to make sure that I got the lines connected. Here's the little jog in a wall. You can see it on the 3D model there. It's coming out pretty good. And then for the window, I went ahead and opened the, um, opened the um, shower glass door and then got the window and it came out perfect after that. So uh, the glass for some reason has an effect on it. And then here, just kind of closing the angles, checking the door, make sure I'm on target. And uh, there it is. We're going to save uh, 
I'll confirm the scan and save that. You can see that I've got a complete room now. The line's connected all the way around. There's no issues. I go ahead and uh, pick out which room that was. And then, uh, so I'm done. So uh, 904, so that took three minutes to scan the whole thing, went around twice. Okay, this is the uh, uh, second floor bathroom, bathroom number two on my scan list. And this one was quite a bit smaller. So um, we had a shower and the toilet and a, um, a vanity, but everything was smaller than the first floor. And it only served uh, the people that were staying upstairs. So the one on the first floor was a little bit like a master bedroom, and um, well, this one was not. So the the uh, the things I would have pointed out here were uh, I had a few uh, issues with the um, the fans. So the fan made a lot of noise. The light was uh, a different color, so that was kind of annoying. And then also. The shower leaked a little bit, but this one had several tile configurations too. I believe there's four different tile um, types within that shower. It's pretty, pretty nice, very deluxe looking when you get in, when you got into it. Okay, this is a uh, scan of the second floor bathroom. Again, I'm using the Magic Plan Auto Scan. Um, and you know, I really got to say, I really like this app. It really works well. It does a lot of uh, easy things for you. If this, anything is artificial intelligence, um, this app definitely uh, would qualify as that. But anyway, so here we are scanning. Again, I kind of had a little trouble with the glass, but um, it went a little quicker because I'd already worked on the downstairs and kind of figured that out. It took me a, less than two minutes to do that scan. Magic Plan report. I would call it a design report. Uh, maybe it's an estimate for some people, or it could be a claims report if you're an insurance uh, person. What you can do is once you've completed the layout and uh, you've scanned or uh, however you've created the floor plan, uh, you're able to uh, generate a report. But uh, before you can generate the report, you want to add your photographs and any annotation that you need, notes, highlights of something, you can add that in here and it'll it'll print it out. It gives you a floor plan with picture uh, pins to the different walls. And most of the time when you're doing it, pictures will pin to the corners. So if you could do a corner photograph, like at a perspective, that would be uh, one way to do it. Oh, there's a picture of the uh, Kohler toilets that were in there. And uh, those were elongated Kohler toilets. They also had Kohler fixtures for the faucets. Um, you know, if it was installed in 2008, everything's held up really well. Uh, that's one thing I have to say about these bathrooms. They they've, don't show hardly any wear and tear, you know, other than they've been painted. But uh, outside of that, I think this is all original as far as the tile goes and the vanity cabinet and, and such. And then, okay, here's a door. Those solid core doors were uh, really nice. And they had a detail around the door that was kind of a radius, you know, so they used the bull nose, probably with 5 8 drywall and detailed up to the uh, door frame. So the door frames would have had been installed prior to sheetrock, but it gave it a really nice finish, you know, rather than having to put molding on the outside. So it was a nice option to, to see. Okay, well that's it for uh, today's video. So to recap, I went over how I use the auto scan feature in the Magic Plan app to document existing conditions. Um, and then to create a floor plan, I showed you the report. I showed you some pictures of the bathrooms of the villas that we stayed at while we were in Pismo Beach. and. Um, um, we went over some of the details of how the bathrooms were constructed. And it, one thing that I wanted to mention about the Magic Plan app is, uh, you know, I, I, I don't get paid for this. This isn't something I'm doing to get paid for. It's just part of my uh, Bathrooms Unveiled series. It just happens to be a way that I can use uh, a tool that 
will allow me to document uh, the work that I'm doing. But I'll tell you, it's been one of the best uh, uh, apps that I've used on a cell phone. I mean, actually, you know, as far as the program or anything, uh, it pretty much operates flawlessly. I don't, I don't have too much trouble with it. Uh, there are some uh, nuances that uh, come up unexpectedly. So like in uh, um, uh, this uh, situation, I was, I did the recording while we were on vacation, so I didn't have a lot of time to work on putting together the uh, floor plan. But on the way home, while my wife was driving, I was able to pin some pictures to the plan and, um, you know, uh, add some annotation and everything. And that, and that probably took me about an hour to do. But what I discovered while I was doing that was I made two mistakes. Uh, number one was, as I put too many pictures in that I didn't expect. So when I went to download the report, um, I realized that I had actually uh, inserted pictures from my phone that weren't even part of the uh, uh, trip. It was some totally separate, some screenshots that I'd taken. And that, so I didn't expect that, you know, it was a kind of an accident. And then also um, I had um, uh, made some changes to the dimensions of the rooms without actually knowing it. So as I added pictures, uh, the dimensions were changing. So the, in the future, uh, what I need to do is uh, um, before even adding photos or doing any sort of notation, I need to go through and confirm the dimensions. So you can open up the dimension in the in the app and then confirm the size of that of that wall by saying okay. And when you okay it, it locks it into that dimension so that it won't um, just change automatically. So uh, that's one way to, to stop that from happening. And so, but um, other than that. You know, it's uh, one of those things, it's kind of a learning curve. Uh, this was, I've been doing the scans now probably for, oh, about a month with uh, the auto scan. And I don't have a lot of opportunity to go out and scan people's bathrooms, even though that's kind of what I'm focusing on right now, or, or rooms, because I'm not uh, doing that um, as far as a business uh, concern is. But I do intend to go back into uh, doing uh, room scans and whatever, um, is needed for the design side of, of my business. And I'll use, I'll, I'll primarily use the Magic Plan app to do that because it's one of the most efficient ways uh, to scan a bathroom. Um, or even a, if you're doing a whole house, you know, you could probably scan the whole place, so a 2,500 square foot home in uh, under 30 minutes, I'm sure. And, it, and then take photos and everything as you're going along. It's uh, super, super easy to work with. So uh, anybody that's considering using the, the Magic Plan app, I highly recommend it. I mean, especially if you're like a contractor or something and you've got to record uh, existing conditions, and this thing is by far one of the most superior um, programs on the market right now. And, you know, and I've tried quite a few. I think I've probably demoed uh, um, six different uh, programs for recording uh, room layouts. And uh, what I find is that either you have to um, do the, uh, what they call point cloud uh, measuring. So you're going to record the point cloud and then you got to upload that to another um, you know, site, and then they're going to build the uh, a floor plan for you. And that's super inefficient. You're going to be 48 hours before you see the darn thing, and you don't have any control over it. It's just, it's going to be whatever it comes out. Maybe they'll they'll fix it for you, but you know, you're going to spend money on that that you don't need to. Whereas with the Magic Plan app. You've got control of everything. You can change those dimensions if you want to go through and laser measure everything. You know, certainly you got that opportunity. So I mean, I can't I can't say enough about it. I mean, I really of everything that I've worked with in probably the last couple of years, this has been one of the best uh, the best thing, best discoveries that I've made. So you know, maybe it won't be the same for you, but. It's worth a try if you if you think that you might want to give the Magic Plan app a try. You can go on their website, and I think they'll let you use it for free. You know, I, I subscribe to uh, just to use it to make a report, uh, to, and mainly just for the design side. And what I'll do is I'll capture floor plans, and then I can import a floor plan into uh, a CAD drawing. So I do a lot of CAD work, and that's... Uh, one of the usefulnesses of the Magic Plan app is I can get a basic floor plan from that. But I'm also um, within the design um, 
Unlimited series, I'm going to be uh, working with 3D modeling. So I'm planning on uh, moving forward a little bit more with the Magic Plan app and then uh, bringing in 3D elements uh, that will that I can actually uh, place on the on the drawing in, in real time so that I don't have to go through and do this extra process of uh, adding those uh, into my plan. So that's uh, something I'm going to try. I haven't tried it yet. I, I mean, I have done a, a little bit of experimentation with the 3D uh, drawing uh, objects and uh, inserting them and I've had a little difficulty in the placement and so I've got to work on that and then uh, uh, in addition to doing um, just the 3D object you also have to insert a, a SVG um, file in, in order to get a floor plan so when you're looking at a 2D view of the, of the uh, room you want to see that uh, object there displayed as a flat image so you have to add that and all these things need to be coordinated into the file, so that's a, that's a little bit of a challenge. I think I'm going to overcome it, but um, something that I have to work on. And I've been really busy recently on a project in uh, uh, that's a remodel project. It's kind of taking me away from this bathroom design stuff. And then, of course, we had a vacation that we were on, and uh, I got some other things that I'm working on here around the house that need to be done soon. You know, I got uh, quite a few events planned. And so in the meantime, um, I'm going to try to keep getting the videos out, but uh, please subscribe. You know, if you like, if you like the, the video that I just did, please hit the like button. And if you didn't like it, you know, as always, I always say, please subscribe because I'm getting better at this. And uh, I think you'll find in the future that the videos that I'm producing uh, in uh, six months will be by far more better than uh, what I have done so far. So uh, stick with me and and follow the plan and uh, we'll, we'll go through bathroom design. Uh, my next thing I'm, I've been thinking about is probably uh, working on toilets. So we're going to talk about how toilets are built and who builds them and, and what to expect from a toilet. You know, I mean, <laughs> kind of a stupid thing to, to talk about. Anyways, this is RB signing off.